In this video, we'll discuss dichotomy bias. According to dictionary, dichotomy means a division or contrast between two things that are represented as being opposed or entirely different. People tend to think in dichotomy, dividing things into two different groups. We have a strong desire to dichotomize, limiting our choice set to either yes or no. In doing so, we fail to explore other options. Dichotomy is helpful because it can be processed in our brains efficiently, but the dichotomy is also deceptive because there is a large gray area between black and white. The dichotomy is abundant in our world, good or evil, win or lose, positive or negative, rich or poor, Democrats or Republicans, male or female, black or white. To make quality decisions, we need to resist yes or no dichotomous thinking in decision making. There is always another way to look at a problem. If there is only one way, it is the wrong way. When discussing American politics, it is easy to get caught up with partisan narratives. Such narratives are provocative and engaging. However, there are many people who live around us and truly care about our community, regardless of their political affiliations. They go to community meetings, engage in neighborhood associations, volunteer at local parks and museums, and speak up about the construction noise and where to add benches on the sidewalks. Those issues usually don't attract much attention from the media, but they greatly influence the daily life of every neighborhood resident. We may believe the relationship between leadership and organizational performance follows a trend of a straight line. It is true to some extent, but such a relationship can also follow the trend of being exponential, S-shaped, or humps. In addition to leadership that impacts an organization in a positive way, there is a possibility that a leader is toxic in the organization. Destructive leadership is not the absence of leadership, but a type of leadership that is toxic. Destructive leaders bully people into submission, and more important, feel gratified in doing so. They hire their cronies who are incompetent. They humiliate and even dehumanize employees. They retaliate against the dissenters. Ironically, the organizational performance enjoys a short-term boost because destructive leaders make sure they get things done. The problem is that such an increase in organizational performance is short-lived. Over time, employees resent the mistreatment and feel demotivated. The organizational performance falls dramatically, like the humps. This is usually when the destructive leaders leave the organization. Some destructive leaders know that they have created many problems, and the liability is too grave for them to stay longer. Other destructive leaders are offered by a different employer with a better job with more power because the short-lived boost of organizational performance was the evidence of how strong their leadership is. If you think destructive leaders are rare, I suggest you Google my boss is. You may have noticed that Google searches automatically tries to complete your queries. Its suggestions are based on the most common searches that other people have made. The Google Autocomplete provides insights into what bothers other people and what information they have searched for. Suppose you are in a negotiation. After rounds of offers and counteroffers, your negotiating counterpart declares that the offer is the best they can do. They declared an ultimatum in the negotiation. How would you respond? 
A. Stop pushing. B. Walk away. C. Keep exploring more options as a counteroffer. What would you do? Having a choice mindset helps you in negotiations and yields better results. A choice mindset can be induced by recalling previous choices you made, or by thinking about options you and your negotiating counterpart have. Such a choice mindset keeps you pressing on and exploring more options. It helps you when you negotiate your salary and benefits. It also helps your organizations when representatives negotiate with the contractors and vendors. In this video, we talk about the dichotomy bias. People tend to think in dichotomy. Dividing things into two different groups, we have a strong desire to dichotomize, limiting our choice set to either yes or no. In doing so, we fail to explore other options. Now it is time for you to provide an example of the dichotomy bias and reflect on how it influences decisions made by you or the people around you.